Good morning. My name is Steve Honstadt. I'm the director of Sanctuary Music here at Our Shepherd. Our devotion for December 9th is based on Psalm 126 and the hymn Hark the Glad Sound, which is number 349. Psalm 126 reads, When the Lord restored fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dreamed. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. And they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like streams in the Negev. Those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. He who goes out weeping, bearing the seed for sowing, shall come home with shouts of joy, bringing his sheaves with him. The two-minute warning goes back to the National Football League's earliest days, when the referee's wristwatch was the official game clock. When two minutes were left in the game, he would stop the clock and let both teams know how much time remained. Starting in the 1960s, though, the NFL made the stadium's clock the official game clock. But the league didn't want to do away with the two-minute warning because it built excitement and gave TV and radio networks more opportunities to sell commercials. We have our own two-minute warning. The Bible says history is almost over. The time is short. Christ's return is imminent. What are we to do? In 1735, Philip Doddridge wrote in today's hymn, To rejoice and shout for joy. Hark the glad sound, the Savior comes, the Savior promised long. Jesus has done great things for us. Jesus will do even greater things when he returns to turn sighing into singing and pain into everlasting praise. Our glad hosannas, Prince of Peace, thy welcome shall proclaim. Amen.